The Arrhenius equation can look intimidating to students at first, and it's really important you understand the chemistry behind it before worrying too much about the maths side of things. The equation, in its most common form, is rate constant k equals a multiplied by e to the power minus ea over rt. <laughs> Sounds awful. Let's break the equation down. The rate constant k is based on the temperature, activation energy, and the proportion of frequency of collisions occurring with the correct orientation. Meaning the Arrhenius equation must include these things in it. And it does. Ea is activation energy, kilojoules per mole. T is temperature, in Kelvin. R is the gas constant, a fixed value of 8.31 joules per Kelvin per mole. A is something called the Arrhenius constant, or pre-exponential factor, and can have different units for different reactions. And E is something called Euler's number. It's literally just a number. However, as it has an infinite number of decimal places, we write it as E. Remember that the whole point of the rate constant K is essentially to tell us the proportion of reacting particles that can collide successfully each second. And this proportion is based on the number of collisions that are occurring each second with the correct orientation and the number of these collisions that have the required activation energy. We can see this within the Arrhenius equation. There are actually two main sections to it, a and e to the power minus ea over rt. The a part, the Arrhenius constant, is a value that describes the proportion of collisions between reactant particles that are happening each second with the correct orientation. If all these collisions happened with the required activation energy, then the rate of reaction would effectively be this value multiplied by the concentration of reactants. However, we know that only a small proportion of collisions have the required activation energy. Even if two particles collide with the correct orientation, they still won't be able to react unless they have the required activation energy. And this is where the second part of the Arrhenius equation comes in. The second part, e to the power minus ea over rt, tells us the fraction of reactant particles that have at least the required activation energy. Therefore, if we times the proportion of collisions happening with the correct orientation per second by the proportion of particles in a system that have the required activation energy, we get the proportion of successful collisions that can occur per second. Hopefully you're with me at this point. At this level, the value of A, the Arrhenius constant, is pretty much always the same for a given reaction, and R, the gas constant, is just that, a constant, also always the same. Meaning it is only changes in activation energy, by using a catalyst, or changes in temperature that will change the value of K the rate constant for any given reaction. As long as these are kept the same, however, the value for k will also always be the same. And this is why in rate equations, we don't worry about writing out this full Arrhenius expression, we simply substitute k into the rate equation.